and welcome to another studio vlog so from this point on things are going to change a little bit because the UK have announced a lockdown so everyone has to stay in the homes and limit travel and business as much as possible there is no one else in this office block so hopefully that is okay so to minimize any contact I have decided just to work on my own so yeah it's just it's just me in the studio for the next few weeks I think. Also is anyone else's hands going really dry and sore? I've literally got the driest scaliest hands ever from how much I've been washing my hands. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to edit a video that I filmed yesterday uh, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday which was a mystery art box unboxing and then yeah we'll just get into the usual studio stuff so let's go shall we? Oops, I'm listening to Animal Crossing music and I forgot to pause it. Uh, so I've just finished editing my video and uploading it but I just can't decide which thumbnail I prefer. I literally did two thumbnails so I've actually posted, I'm just about to post a post on Instagram asking you guys because I can't decide which one I like. They look really childlike but a lot of my illustrations and everything is quite childish anyway so I don't know I can't decide which one I prefer so I'm just about to do a post on Instagram I just airdropped it to my phone here uh, but yeah these are them I don't know if you can see that the crank of the brightness down so it's either the top one or the bottom one but by the time this vlog goes out I probably will have already chosen one okay so i put the post on instagram and then i decided to put the marshmallow print and the marshmallow wallpaper up on my etsy store's digital downloads so i'm excited for that it looks really cute on my background you can't really see because it's so bright up in here but it looks really cute it's the first time i've done a digital download for wallpapers usually my patients get a monthly desktop and phone wallpaper but it'll be fun to do kind of like 99p or i don't know i haven't worked out the price yet i just need to upload it um wallpapers and stuff let me know if you want to see more digital downloads like wallpapers in my etsy store uh, i'm also thinking going the digital route might be a good idea and doing more digital products just in case i need to close my store and i could still keep it open for digital downloads and stuff so let me know what you guys think about having digital products and if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below i'm just going to take a photo using this camera of the background on my iphone and then i'm going to upload it to my empty saw it's been quite a productive day but i haven't got as much done as i would have liked to have got done today but I still got my video up and i'm going to publish that i did a thumbnail that i spent way too long over so a kind of productive day. I'm just about to call it quits for the today and my eyelash popped off so I had to plop my other eyelash off. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. and happy Thursday. Yesterday I did a work from home day and it was really really nice. I took part in Sarah Favour's challenge and did a little illustration while I was out in my garden. It is a super sunny glorious day here in the UK and it was yesterday as well and I feel so thankful for the sunny warm weather it makes me so so happy so i sat out in my garden did work in my garden and yeah it was just really really cozy really really nice and i'll insert a time lapse here so you guys can see what i illustrated as part of sarah faber's a uh, 200 000 follower challenge over on instagram
So yeah, that was it. My um, little entry for Sarah Faber's challenge. Did that yesterday. Today I've got a commission to work on. But first, I wanted to show you this little package that I got, which is it's a little strange to share because I purchased this before everything happened, but I really want to show you guys because it's from Etsy and it is this cute little travel wallet and I thought you guys would appreciate it because you seem to like the same sort of stuff as me. Let me just point you to the table and show you it. And I got it from an Etsy shop called Prezelli, if anyone, Prezelli, if anyone wants to check these guys out. And yeah, I'll show you what it is. So me and Dean were actually meant to be going to Krakow um, in Poland in two weeks time but obviously that's not going to happen with everything that's going on and I actually purchased this before and it's this little travel wallet thing. Look at this where you can keep like passports, your boarding passes and I got it in gold and it says Catherine and Dean's Adventures. I think it was around £20 but I really, I normally put all my travel documents in a plastic wallet and it was really getting on my nerves when I went to Germany. Um, so I purchased this. Obviously we're not going travelling now but it can be used for future events and when you open it up it's got this little strap as well which you can use as like a handle but you can also take this off if you just want to put it in your bag and inside it's got all these compartments so these fit passports so mine and Dean's passports and boarding passes it's got like a little space here it's got all these little zippy compartments so if you want you could keep like electrical goods in here travel cards more documents I just really really liked it and it's also got this little hole here for like putting pens and stuff but I thought I would show you guys this purchase that I got because I'm really impressed with it I think it's really really cute they didn't have like a pink option or anything so I went with the light grey but I just think it's really nice to keep all uh, your travel documents and your wallet all neatly like stored because if you're anything like me I like everything organised neat and stored but I thought I'd just share that with you guys so yeah that's where I bought it from it was from the Setsi store. Love it. Obviously now I have absolutely no idea when I'm going to get the opportunity to use it again. Hopefully, fingers crossed for my honeymoon and everything is better and the curve has been flattened out and borders are open back up. Fingers crossed I can use it in September but who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, I just thought it was really cute and wanted to share that with you guys. Today I'm going to work on a commission. I've got a really cool commission to do for a writer and she's got these four characters. So I'm going to get to work on that and do a sketch for her and send that off to make sure she likes it and get a feel for characters I'm super excited to do that one and then I really want to start doing journaling and I've bought myself a little lecture bullet journal for this year's kind of travel and journal in general and I've also ordered a HP sprocket which is a, like a little tiny printer so I can print out memories and stuff and I can look back on memories I'm really kind of a visual person and take photos of everything and it takes me back and I think just having a travel journal or a journal in general should I say would be really really fun. I also collected a bunch of paper supplies from Cologne when I went to Germany that I would like to stick in this journal as well and kind of like use it as a scrapbook journal type of thing. I've been saying that I wanted to do this for such a long time. There's no time like the present. While we're a little quiet I can dedicate my time and get into the routine of it and yeah I'm really excited for that. I think I'll do a review video so let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a review of that little mini printer. It's like this big and it's a pocket printer you can put it in like your bag and print as you go which is super super handy and really really cute it's such a cute idea and I think the prints come out sticky backed so I can stick it straight into my journal so really excited for that to arrive so first of all I'm gonna get to work on this commission so let's go shall we I actually got totally distracted and I've had this on my to-do list for about a month now and it was one of my March goals was to bring out some letter paper so I'm gonna actually get this manufactured into pads uh, because I really enjoy writing cute letters and I think now that we're all kind of in isolation and stuff writing cute letters and having pen pals and just writing nice notes to like any giveaways that I have would be such a cute idea and I would love to get a range and I'll also 
also do digital ones as well so you guys can download these and print them out at home so you don't actually have to order a physical pad but eventually I would like there to be like a physical pad as well and um, so that you can actually buy the physical uh, one from the store but I just did my first ever design and I think if you buy it digitally I'll do the option for a plain one and a lined one so you'll get both the plain paper and the lined one and I'll do it set up so that you can get it so it's ready to print on an A4 sheet like this and then you just have to cut it out but I've got a commission to package up and I really just wanted to write her a really cute letter she's called Janet and she's from Singapore and um, so I designed this and it's got a little dinky strawberries in the corner it just looks really cute and I've got my copyright down here it just looks really cute this was another print and I'll probably use this paper but this is actually a misprint and um, it's printed slightly darker but this is uh, the correct print for it I printed this on the plain paper setting and the colours have come out correct look how cute this is now I'm going to chop it up and yeah write her a little letter and write it in a and put it in her commission I've totally gone off track but at least I've done something productive now you don't have to have a paper cutter, you could just cut these out with scissors, but I'm going to use my paper cutter for this. And if you want it to be super fancy, I've got this little corner clipper which uh, rounds the corners. I don't know what they're called, but like corner rounders. I got this from Hobbycraft ages ago. I'm going to clip the corner of my printed sheet. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. And just round the corners to make it look even prettier. And this is the final result. It looks so cute. I'm so proud of them. So if you want to write your family a letter but you can't visit them, you can post it through the letterbox. Uh, these will be available for digital download in my Etsy store. And let me know if you would like me to supply actual pads of these. I think I will eventually. But for now, they'll be available to download and you can print it out yourself at home. And yeah, just chop them out with some scissors. It looks really cute. You can add a little corner if you've got one of those edge corners. I just love these little strawberries in the corner, they look so adorable. Oh my gosh, now I'm going to write a letter to Janet to say thanks. Oh, they're so cute. I love them.
Hey Daisy, you're on the main channel, how do you feel? Hello guys, happy Friday. As you can see, I'm at home today because I'm going to do a work from home day. But Daisy going crazy in the background. What are you doing, Daisy? <laughs> what? You just want attention. <laughs> Now look who it is! Ah, she just used the claws! Oh, did you hear that? That hurt, Fluffs! You're on the main channel, Fluffs, by the way. <laughs> this is why I don't record at home much. Dizzy, you're crazy! <laughs> oh my goodness. Daisy, I'm trying to record here. <laughs> anyway, I'm all party on the top and PJ's on the bottom because I'm going to record a Patreon Q&A in a little bit when these have calmed down. Maybe I'll have to take Daisy for a walk. So I've got my PJs on the bottom and I've like got dressed on the top. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to record a Patreon q and I'm going to have my dinner and I'm doing a little Animal Crossing meetup with my Patreons later on on Discord. We're going to do like a voice chat and meet up on my island. Super excited for that. And today my HP Sprocket turned up. So super excited to unbox that and see what it's all about. But anyway, I think I'm going to end the studio vlog here because I'm just going to be pottering around the house and everything. And I'm not sure whether you want to see that. Let me know in the future studio vlogs because obviously I'm going to be doing a lot more work from home. If you want to... Oh, I'm really bright, sorry. If you want to see that, I'm actually not sure what I've recorded for the studio vlog at all. So I'm so sorry if it's a bit all over and not like the usual. My life is a little all over and not like the usual at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed it. And the question of this week is, if you had to pick one destination to travel to, what would you pick? Japan or New York? Let me know in the comments below, it'll be interesting. I would struggle to pick but it'd probably be Japan because I'm a little bit of a weeb and I love anime and stuff and it is one of my bucket lists as is New York but Japan's up there. Let me know in the comments below what you would pick to let me know that you made it to the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed this very kind of mismatched studio vlog. I'll see you all very very soon. All right then, thanks so much for watching. I love you. Good. Bye.